So it's been a week since KCON and I'm finally getting around to filming this video. It was completely hectic and a little bit stressful, a little bit lonely, I'll explain more about that later. But overall, I had a pretty good time. So this video is pretty much going to be a recap of my experience at KCON. For those of you who don't know, or don't know me, probably everyone who watches this video, I got platinum ticket which cost me $1,000. Um, I really wanted to get the full KCON experience, which is why I spent that money on it. Plus. There's no guarantee if it's coming back to Australia. Fingers crossed they do, but on the off chance they didn't, I wanted to, to go all out. So I live in Melbourne, but KCON happened in Sydney, so I had to figure out a way to get myself up there without breaking the bank, since I already spent 1k on a platinum ticket. So the start of my stress was the fact that I had decided to drive up to Sydney. At the time it sounded like a good idea, but now I kind of regret it. I mean, it was fun, I enjoyed it, but I was so tired by the time I got to Sydney that I felt I couldn't really enjoy the first day of convention and lining up and seeing everything. I mean, it was super exciting, but a little bit tiring. So because I had platinum and was there for the two days, I got this little la I don't even know what you would call this, like a wristband kind of thing, if that will focus. I don't know if that will focus. Anyway, it's pretty much just a ribbon with a bead on it, so that goes on your hand, if I can get it on. And then you pretty much wore this, and this was to symbolize that you were platinum and could get you into certain lines and stuff like that. So that's the one thing that they gave us, but then they also gave us this, so I'm not sure if that's going to focus either. Oh, there we go. So platinum, and then it has all our cards inside. So these are the scratch card tokens that give you what your artist engagements are and who you have them for. So with platinum, we got two guaranteed high touches and three guaranteed audience, and also all access to red carpet and one sound check. One thing to remember about these is that they collect the ones that say high touch. So if you go for high touch and you want to keep this as like a memory, Take a photo of it because they collect it when you go up for your high touch so that they know that you've already done your high touch so you can't go up again. Now because the tokens are random chance, there's a very high possibility that you will get separated from your friends. Unless you're lucky enough to trade everything so that you all get the same thing, then chances are you're going to be alone for a section of the day. For me, it ended up being most of the days. So that's why I was a little bit lonely. So the convention at KCON was actually free to attend. I'm not sure if that's going to be a consistent thing, but for this year, I guess because the first year, they had a free convention. I did go in to check it out. There wasn't too much inside. There was the official KCON merchandise stall, which was selling signed albums, which I bought some. I'm terrible. I, I spent so much money. Oh my god, anyway. That's a... They also had some K-beauty and some workshops and also a stage where you could see local performances and some panels. It was really interesting and kind of nice to see and experience, but the line to get in was so, so long. It wrapped halfway around the arena because they were really tight on security and having absolutely no backpacks. And it was so hot, it was just very tiring to get inside. But... Inside was where I had to go to pick up my special goodie bag, and so I waited in line. Ta-da! So we pretty much got a tote bag that says Cake on Australia 2017, and inside we also got ta -da, a water bottle um, that also says 2017 Australia Cake on. Um, so apparently P1 got the bag and the bottle. Um, Platinum got a little bit extra. We also got. Ta -da, a KCON light stick, which was handy because even though I like a few of the groups that went, I don't have their light sticks, so I felt like I wanted something to wave during the concert. And this, ta -da, ooh, that looks funny. This was a nice little thing that I could have. Anyway, I like light sticks, they're fun. And we also got to choose one of the signature, artist signature decal things. Um, I chose 101 because I like 101. So pretty much the difference between the P1 and the Platinum goodie bag was the light stick and the decal. But both of these you could buy at the official KCON merchandise store. They were also selling fabric photo banners and I mean, who else would I have gotten? Because again, they didn't sell any XO. So on the other side of this, it just says, let's KCON. Oh, there we go, that fits. So I bought that and I bought the albums and I'm pretty happy with what I bought. Um, I was really close to buying one of the KCON Lightsticks because I was actually lining up for merchandise before picking up my goodie bag. 
So I was frantically searching online to see if anyone had mentioned what you actually got because I didn't want to buy something and then get it in the goodie bag as well. I was very nervous for that. But it's all good. Someone replied and I'm like, yes, don't need to buy a light stick. If you follow the Cake on Australia page, you would have noticed that there was a queuing schedule for all the artist engagements. But pretty much everyone went and lined up way before the times even started because they wanted to get a better view. It was probably one of the worst weekends to be in long, long queues because it reached about 30 degrees on both days and people were just in the sun we couldn't move we started making friends in the queue so we could run off to get water and then come back and not lose our spot because some people even though the queuing time officially started at 3 45 they were there from 11 30 that is commitment i was only there from 1 30 all the groups were really cute and really happy and seemed to really enjoy their time at KCON. Generally for the artist engagements, it wasn't a very large number of people for each session. So regardless of where you were, you still had a pretty good view. So you didn't really, really need to get crushed at the front or you wouldn't end up stuck behind a really tall person and see nothing, which was pretty good because I'm really short. I will say though, I did get crushed pretty badly at one of the artist engagements because people were crazy. People were falling over trying to get inside. It was hectic. One thing I'm really glad though is that it seemed like I didn't oversell the platinum standing area which meant there was still room to move around and it wasn't too much of a bad crush. The concerts though were absolutely amazing. It was really good to see so many different groups all on the same stage and then performing their songs and I think I've become a fan of a few other groups that I previously didn't know. But yeah, everyone's so talented and they're all really happy and lots of fan service, lots of hearts. I think overall I would go to KCON again it was really enjoyable but again as I said it was a little bit lonely being separated from my friends I think if you're the really really outgoing type that can easily make friends with anyone around you you won't have a problem going to KCON and queuing by yourself because you'll probably make friends with everyone around you me I fluctuate between being really really friendly and social to being really quiet and shy and awkward and not knowing what to say much like this video it was definitely a fun experience and I would definitely want to go again but for next time I'm really not sure if I would want to get platinum or not the artist engagements and the guarantees are definitely enticing and incentive to get platinum but I'm not too sure if I would enjoy being seated and having a better view of the overall stage. I will upload some of my fan cams for you guys to see. And you'll see what I mean by I prefer a seating view where I can see everything clearly. Me and my friend will be filming a comparison video to compare Platinum to P1 tickets for KCON. So if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description or somewhere here if I learn how to. But yeah, I'll let you guys know. See ya. It's okay, we tried. It was lots of fun and I didn't get crushed from EXO, which I'm really happy about. Yeah!